Hey y'all, it's Victoria and welcome back to my channel. I am here with an update to the eBay debacle. Yes, the saga continues. So let me start by saying, if you haven't watched my previous eBay suspended me permanently video, you're probably gonna wanna watch that one before this. I'm not gonna really recap all of everything that happened. So if you have had your account suspended by eBay out of the blue, you don't understand why, they just told you it is final and they are parting ways with you, then go check that video out. A lot of you have reached out to me and have been going through the same thing. I've had over a hundred people reach out to me via Instagram and through my email to get the contact number that I reached out to when they sent me my permanent suspension. I made my initial video to try to be helpful to the reselling community. So if you're out there and you are having issues with eBay, have a suspended account, aren't sure why, and want to get that phone number to reach out to eBay, hit me up on Instagram or at my email. Both are listed in the description below. But this video is gonna be an update. Last video, I ended by saying I got my account reinstated. I was so excited to not be banned permanently from eBay. I was most sad because I'm a big mid-century modern collector that I would not be able to shop on eBay anymore. And I'm glad that that is not the case. So I thought all was well. I thought I was just fielding tons of comments from all of you amazing people in the reselling community. I was inundated with so many comments. It really was overwhelming. I cannot thank you enough for all of the sweet and kind words, all of the new subscribers. I am happy to be helping in some small way by sharing my experience. And I have certainly got a ton of messages from you after you've reached out to eBay telling me that your account was reinstated. And so for me, just one of you being able to do that was the reason I made the video. So knowing that tons of you are doing that just makes me know that I did the right thing. So on to what happened after I made the last video. I was getting all these comments and one of you commented that you had tried to click on my eBay store link that's in the description of all of my videos and it was saying that the store was inactive. Uh-oh. <laughs> so when I got that comment, I immediately went over to eBay and I checked my account. You know, I had mentioned in the last video that I was relisting all of the items they had taken down when they suspended me. So I'm thinking, oh no, what is going on now? And when I got to my eBay account, when I clicked on store, it actually did not show me my store subscription. It said that I could sign up for a subscription. Well, I've already paid for the month of May. I actually have a basic store. So I pay for the basic store subscription and I had the year subscription, which means it's a lower monthly payment. Uh, and I had already paid for May. So where was my store? <laughs> so I called back the same number that I've been sharing with all of you and I got a rep on the phone. I explained about the suspension, how my account was reinstated, but for some reason my store isn't reinstated. Well, he put me on hold a couple of times, was trying to figure it out. He offered me a solution that they couldn't reinstate my store for the month because once you become permanently suspended, your store subscription is cut off. So luckily I was still paying monthly and didn't pay a lump sum for the whole year. So I was only out the month of May. So his solution was that he would offer me two weeks free that would carry me through the remaining amount of May. And then in June, I could sign back up for a monthly subscription. I felt that was fair and fine and it wasn't really free. It wasn't like eBay was giving me something for free. I had already paid for my month. So I said, sure. So he put me on hold again and then came back and said, for some reason, my account is saying that I am not allowed to have any subscriptions. <sighs> Seriously. <laughs> he asked if he could put me on hold again. He tried to do a manual override. The system would not even allow him to do that. He tried a couple other things. He tried conversing with his supervisors, still no solution. So he got back on the phone and said, I am so sorry. Unfortunately, I don't know how to fix this. So I'm going to have to try to get an answer for that. I'm not gonna be able to do it in the next hour. So I will give you a call back at this number within the next 24 hours. 
I thought, okay, well, I mean, there's got to be something they can do to figure it out. So I said, fine. And I went about my day. I didn't list anything new, though, just in case. <laughs> so yesterday, which would have been 24 hours later, I had waited all day long. I never had a phone call from eBay. I even added a couple of the eBay phone numbers in my phone just in case it came up as spam. I would know that it was eBay calling and eBay never called. <laughs> So I called back the number and I got a different rep and I explained the situation and that rep said, well, I don't think that we can do the two week free trial. I think they did away with that. But okay, well, what can I do to fix my account? At this point, I'm getting worried because I've already been permanently suspended. I've already had to deal with all this stuff and now my store won't even populate and eBay can't even figure it out. Eventually the rep got back on the phone, said he was able to do an override. He was able to give me a two week trial for free. So my store was reinstated and in June, I will have to go in and sign up for a new subscription to an eBay store. But that's no problem. I can certainly do that. I just wanted to make this video because if you're one of the people who've reached out to me and did get your account reinstated, if you did have a store subscription, then you may want to check to make sure that it was reinstated too, because unfortunately mine wasn't. Overall, I am happy. I have to be honest, I was most disappointed with my eBay suspension, thinking I would never be able to shop on the platform again for the rest of my life. Like I'm going to be an old lady and I'm not going to be able to go hunt for treasures that I can't find locally. So that was a bit of a bummer. So I am glad, if anything, that I have the ability to buy on eBay again. The selling is great too, but the buying was really what was breaking my heart, especially because I've been using eBay since the late 90s. So it would kind of be a little bit of punch to the gut. <laughs> and that's it. My store's reinstated, my account's reinstated, and hopefully, hopefully, that's the end of the saga. So thank you guys again, all of you have reached out, who've left a comment, who have messaged me on Instagram or sent me an email. I appreciate all the support. I hope that I've been able to be a little bit of a help to the community and I'll see you guys next time for a Wetzel video. Bye y'all.